uh, Achi Alai, the CEC Tourism, I think she's here. She's done a great job in coordinating this. You can clap for her. And I also want to thank uh, John Olago, the MP for Kisumu West, for hosting us. We, have, we feel at home, and we will not leave today or tomorrow. So know that we are remaining here for some time. So thank you very much, and looking forward to being with you at the next Kusi Festival. And again, stay safe, obey the basic uh, guidelines from the Ministry of Health. The, the CAS was here with us, and uh, we would also like to thank him. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bona CEO. Um, uh, thank you so much for those uh, remarks. And uh, in the spirit of uh, thanking and uh, recognizing uh, the individuals and uh, institutions that were part of this, I'd like to thank our suppliers during the two uh, days, and that's Evensis. More sound for this uh, wonderful setup that we have here. Tech Direct Solutions. Calvin Tours, Sapphire Solutions, Safaricom PLC, and indeed Red House. Those are, uh, were some of our suppliers uh, for this conference. And uh, to our esteemed partners, APRH, APHRC, I beg your pardon, ABSA Kenya, Fika Clothing Mills, Kenya Film Commission, Devki, Kakuzi, FPIC, Jumbojet and indeed image registrars for coordinating the virtual sessions that we had here. And a special and heartfelt gratitude to the great county of Kisumu and the people of Kisumu County. Thank you so much for having us. And so just one final thing left to do. It's uh, lunchtime and uh, we've been speaking since morning. And uh, so uh, in a similar fashion as we did yesterday, the first three rows with our VIPs will be guided to where they will have their lunch. And then the rest of us just uh, walk past uh, Get C and uh, close to the swimming pool. Uh, there you'll find uh, a tent there uh, where you'll be served from. And so uh, one final time, thank you so much. Ero Urukamano. Ero Kamano is a thank you uh, <laughs> in the local tongue to say thank you so much and to appreciate uh, every one of you for the contribution that you made throughout the two days. And just in closing, the national anthem, let's all be upstanding for that from the engineers behind us there. The national anthem of Kenya and the East African community anthem. <laughs> Finally, the two days uh, like uh, two hours. We've come to the end of our vibrant two days uh, conference, the Kusi Two Ideas Festival. And uh, it has been a full two days of engaging debate and uh, rich insights. It has been a discussion about our lives and the livelihood, about you not about the other person, it's about me. You have been a wonderful audience, great listeners and great participants. I've not seen an audience keeping quiet, listening in the afternoon from 2 to 6.30. That has not happened. Can you clap yourself at least for that? We appreciate all the wonderful speakers who accepted our invitation to speak at this Kusi Ideas Festival. Given the pandemic, pressures are all over. We have faced several losses. Some of us have suffered more and others have suffered less. We have 
had personal pains, we at Nation Media Group understand how deep everyone has had to dig to be here in person or to join us virtually. A hearty thank you to all of you. It takes a lot of effort and energy and resources to make a festival like this a reality. We could not have done it without the support of all of you. Let me take this opportunity, initially in a special way, to thank the people of Kisumu, Kisumu County, Kisumu Dala. This is my home county, for your information, if you don't, understand, if you don't know that. Yeah? I've worked and lived in Kisumu, so I feel at home. In a special way, also to thank our governor, Professor Anyang Nyongo, who has been with us all the way from Kusi One in Kigali on such a day and such two days. We were with the professor in Kigali and his team. And for the warm hospitality and great partnership that we've had during the two days when we've had uh, the festival and also last year during our Kusi One meeting in Kigali. Uh, let me also express our gratitude to our partners, sponsors, I'll not mention them, but uh, some of them include Fika Cloth Mill, the lady who spoke here, thank you very much. Uh, we had Absa Bank, we had uh, Bill and Melinda Gates, we had uh, Devki, Jumbojet, we had Oxfam, Image Registrars, Kakuzi, they are all on the screen, we'd like to thank them. And also, most sincerely, thank Ciala Resort. I never knew there was a resort of this quality and this standard somewhere in the Lake City. Thank you very much, the hosts here in Ciala. I would also like to salute the NMG board for the courage to greenlight this event, even in such uncertain times. Our teams who worked tirelessly and against extreme odds to make it possible. With us, we have two directors, Louis Otieno, you can just wave, he's the director of NMG, and uh, Wangedi Mwangi. They believed in us. At one point, we had said we are, going to, we are not going to have the event, but we proceeded to have it, and I think we made the right decision. And in a special way, we'd like to thank His Excellency, the President of Rwanda, who believed in us and was here with us during the second Kusi conference, and His Excellency the President of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, and also the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, who has been very supportive to Kusi. He was the first person to give us, send his message when we send invitations. So we're grateful to that. You'll agree with me that our very own Master of Ceremony, Edmond Nyabola, I don't know, he's here, is a boy from the neighborhood, and uh, we've taught him today that there's a difference between uh, tea and breakfast. <laughs> he, he's done a great job, clap for him. <laughs> Our other moderators, Smriti Vidyadi, she's, she's out. Then uh, Dan Mwangi, Julian's, Dan Mwangi is around. Then we had uh, Julian's Amboko, is here and uh, Joseph Warungu, they have done an amazing job. We clap for them. Nation Media Group, like any other business, has been challenged in many ways. We understand the struggle of surviving during this period, and this is critical for us to embrace that possibilities lie ahead. The Governor earlier on said one of the big takeaways is that we can make it ourselves. Buy Kenya, build Kenya. We need a mindset, change in our mindset, and we need, need a radical change. We've talked about Mitumbas for a long period. We've talked of the need to build our own local industries. Kikomi, Rivertex, all these are our industries. We used to enjoy, Kisumu used to be vibrant the years that you lived here, driven by the cotton industry. We need to see that back, and we can do it. And if you say you can do it, let us do it, like Professor would keep reminding us. So I think 
uh, it is heartening to hear the three broad arguments that were made. First, that Africa was hit, but unlike the worst case scenarios painted for it, it has navigated the pandemic period much better than almost all other continents. That leads to the second range of argument that we are resilient and excellent more than we give ourselves credit for. We are stronger, we are powerful, and we can do it without the help of anybody. We've seen it here in our own country. Third, we can build better societies, more inclusive economies, and better health system, and have more than enough illustrations across our countries that indeed we can. As at yesterday, the weekly reporting data showed that over 1.5 million people had died from COVID-19 globally. We in Africa accounted for about 54,000 of that number. Our hearts go out to them and their families. If one major thing comes out of this conference, let it be a resolve that we shall use our ingenuity to ensure that next time this does not happen again. What can we promise you and Africa as NMG? We will have a full summary of the report available on the online Kusi Ideas Festival site and also on the Nation Media Group website and on all our platforms. Some of the sessions will be repackaged and they will be repeated on NTV and will let our audiences know. Then by early January, the full package for the two days will be available on all those platforms. As we all know, ideas remain, remain just ideas unless they are translated into action. As a media company, we will continue to spotlight these ideas and encourage you to continue engaging us on our various platforms, including our recently relaunched or launched digital, digital brand, Nation.Africa. We promise you, uh, KUSI will continue. It will be, will let you know in good time when this will happen again and it will continue. I cannot end without thanking the team that worked on this. They tirelessly worked on it. Uh, they were led by our director, Mr. Wangedi Mwangi, just wave where you are. Mr. Charles Onyangobo, where he's, he's a very quiet but very little uh, writer. Those of you who read our publications know him. Mr. Clifford Machoka, I think he's there. Uh, the others that are worth mentioning is uh, Kinya Gitonga, Roda, Marceline, Monica, and the back-end team, the engineers. You saw the way they struggled yesterday for one hour, but they managed to make it without any interference. It will, I will not end without also thanking the team in Kisumu, the county team, 